Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and if you want thick hair, if you want good growth of your hair, in this video I'll be sharing with you what we have to do inside our body because hair grow from inside out. So if you want good growth of your hair, if you want them to be thick, strong, you should be healthy from inside. What specifically we should do? I'll be sharing with you name of the herbs that can help, vitamins and minerals that can help you. So let's start with the biggest cause that I notice in my practice of the hair fall or thinning of the hair. It is because of any kind of shock. It can be emotional shock, it can be an accident, it can be in surgery. Any of these kinds of issues that gives stress to our body they increase the cortisol in our body and that causes the hair fall. So always whenever I recommend any of the thing I always recommend herb Brahmi plus magnesium because Brahmi and magnesium they both work very well and they calms our body and this also helps us to have good and healthy hair. Second thing that I notice is because of the lack of iron or hemoglobin in the body. Yes iron is very important because iron makes the hemoglobin and hemoglobin helps to carry oxygen up to the scalp up to the root of the hair so if your hair roots are not getting enough oxygen can you even imagine they will grow well no it's not going to happen you do any of the diy any of the shampoo any of the conditioner serums on your hair nothing is gonna help unless and until you have good level of iron and hemoglobin in your body. Even if you check for them, also give the analysis of ferritin. These three things, iron, ferritin, hemoglobin are very important if you want good and healthy hair. Another reason is lack of biotin. Yes, if you will not have biotin, good amount of biotin, then you will never have good hair growth. But why our body lacks in biotin it is because we are not having good digestion and we are not having good amounts of probiotics and prebiotics in our gut so you should start taking the food that will increase the probiotics prebiotics in your gut it's not yogurt it can be the buttermilk it can be any of the fermented stuff it can be pickles not lots of pickles little bit sauerkraut can help you start using them slowly slowly you will develop good gut bacteria and also there is a product in the market new herb hair and skin vitamin that is a combination of ayurveda and the vitamins that helps a lot it has magnesium and pomegranate extract and good amount so as i told magnesium helps and pomegranate extract will also help you to increase your hemoglobin iron so it's a good combination it has curcuma longa means the curcumin extract it has pepperine in it it has lots of other vitamins in it so it's a good combination of vitamins and minerals and is in the capsule form we have to take one capsule two times in a day 30 minutes after food you can try this one if you are looking for the good growth of your hair but only if you are eating right you are working on your psychology you are doing exercises about exercises you don't have to do lots of exercises also because lots of exercises if you do it too much this can be a cause of your hair fall because again it's in stress for your body lots of stress will cause hair fall so maybe decreasing the intensity of your exercise can also help you now if i focus on the vitamins i will say two vitamins those are very important if you want good healthy hair first is of course vitamin d3 because i have felt it by myself on my body if you'll have lower level of vitamin d you are going to have tremendous hair fall so vitamin d3 should be well enough it should not be just normal it should be good so always see the levels of vitamin d3 if you are having hair fall and either get the vitamin d3 from the sun either you have to supplement it so use vitamin d3 second vitamin is vitamin c vitamin c very vital it reduces the inflammation it increases the antioxidants in our body removes the free radicals gives shine to our hair vitamin c is very easy to get from the nature you can get it from amla that's indian gooseberry sauerkraut little bit you can get it from lemons also 
you can get it from bell pepper lots and lots of varieties from where you can get vitamin c so you have to see that you are getting good amount of vitamin c and this can help you with the hair apart from this i have also noticed that water which we use to rinse our hair this also plays a vital role in the health of our hair if your water has high level of chlorine or fluorides in it then it will damage your hair there are many of the filters available in the market that you can just put in your shower and use that water it will be much better for your scalp and for your hair use of sulfate shampoos creates lots of problems so try to use the shampoos that are sulfate free use of lots of chemicals can also affect your hair the quality of your hair so try to use as much as chemical free herbal products for your hair and it will be helpful for you now let's talk about the herbs i have said amla is a good herb then bringraj false daisley is very good herb if you have any of the issues with your hair you can use the mixture of amla and bringraj these are just small tips maybe this will help you just try to find the root cause of your hair fall it should not be hormonal as the thyroid hormones plays a big role in it or other hormones as testosterone or estrogen other than this this eating right and using these vitamins can help you i hope the message is clear i hope this video will be informative for you smile more because smile will give you good hair will remove the wrinkles from your face stay happy you are beautiful you will look more beautiful stay healthy